Welcome students to our General Chemistry 1 video notes. In this video, we're going to start on Chapter 1, which hopefully is mostly review. So if you find that I'm going a little fast, it's because I'm under the assumption that the majority of this should be review. So if you need additional resources, um, look to YouTube or your uh, Achieve program. All right, so let's talk first about the scientific method. Hopefully you've seen the scientific method before. This is the order that the steps go in. So you would make observations. Those observations would get you curious. You'd think up of a good question and think up a possible explanation, which would be your hypothesis, which you then test and analyze the resulting data. If you don't end up getting um, kind of the data that you expect, then you just continue this process of the scientific method until you have a hypothesis that is something that is supported. And of course, supporting uh, is far from having um, something that's being accepted by the larger scientific community. So when we talk about hypothesis, a lot of high school teachers call this an educated guest. I and many other college professors hate that. A hypothesis is really a tentative explanation. Your experiment is going to be something that you carry out to test your tentative explanation. Mom. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video right now, Bug. So we're back from our child interruption. So this is going to test your tentative, oh, I forgot how to spell, ten, uh, Oh, look, I spelled it two different ways. <laughs> I give up in life. T-N-O-T-I-V-E. -E. Is that right? Oh, I can't spell. Um, explanation. I should have just written hypothesis. So during the course of um, our er entry level or early discussions, we talk about theory and law. And so one of the things that bothers scientists the most is when someone says, well, that's just a theory. Okay, so what they mean is that's just a hypothesis. So a theory is something that has been widely accepted by the scientific community, like gravity. Gravity is a theory. Germ theory is a theory. Evolution is a theory. So a theory is a widely accepted explanation. Whereas a law states a measurable relationship. Okay, so sometimes those two are really easy to confuse. So the theory would be the explanation behind the measured ability to calculate the gravitational pull. So the law is the ability to calculate the gravitational pull if we're talking about gravity, whereas theory is the explanation of gravity. So I always like to give students an opportunity to look at hypothesis and theory and just give you a moment to look at these and decide where do you think it falls. So I'm going to let you pause for a moment and then come back and compare answers with me. All right, so hopefully you've paused for a moment. And I kind of gave away the first one, right? We said gravity was a theory. Um, drinking sugary drinks leads to diabetes and obesity. Um, I don't know if we can call that a theory quite yet, 
But yeah, it's getting close, right? <laughs> There's a lot of data there. Now, before you get all um, nervous about the word evolution, right, I am not in this chemistry class to debate religious beliefs with you. So let's at minimum, let's talk about microevolution. Microevolution is the evolution that nobody can say is not true, right? This is absolutely a theory. We saw microevolution um, with the COVID-19 pandemic, right? Microevolution happened when a second strain of the COVID-19 vaccine became something that uh, came about, right? It, it evolved to create another strain. This is going to happen too when you hear about antibiotic resistant bacteria. Well, they're resistant because they evolved. So whether or not you have personal beliefs that make it difficult for you to talk about macro evolution, everybody should be able to agree that the micro evolution is something that we can agree upon. So how about climate change? Yes, climate change is a theory, right? It's widely accepted. And then additionally, this last one, this is, sounds like the beginning of an experiment. It is definitely not something that has been widely tested. So that's our difference between hypothesis and theory. All right, so let's do a little bit more in this video and talk about the law of conservation of mass. So mass is the quantity of matter in a sample. So then when we talk about what matter is, matter is something um, in a way that we can perceive. Right, it's, it's kind of like an object that you're capable of. So this occupies space. And can be perceived. Oh man, I'm giving away all my worst qualities in this video that I cannot spell. Oof. Man, I-E-V-E-D, that can't be right. I'm going to have to work on that. Um, so it occupies space and can be perceived by our senses. So when we talk about something like the law of conservation of mass, this says that matter can't be created or destroyed during a normal chemical reaction. So what that means for us is if we look at two reactants coming together, hydrogen and oxygen, to form water, the mass of the hydrogen and the mass of the oxygen are going to be added together to form the mass of water. Because if you start with one gram of hydrogen and you start with eight grams of oxygen and they completely react with each other to form water, then you should get nine grams of water. So then in this question here, we'll change it up a little bit, right? I'm going to ask you um, how many grams of fluorine were used during this chemical reaction. So pause for a second and figure out how to determine that. All right, did you figure it out? You probably got 38 grams because your reactants, so the total mass of the reactants has to equal the total mass of the products. Now notice that we've been saying mass and not weight. And so the difference between mass and weight, mass is not dependent on gravity. So here on Earth and also on the moon, you would have the same mass. But weight? No, you're not going to have the same weight. 
So your weight is going to be different because this depends on gravity. And because the gravity on the moon is different than the gravity here on Earth, you're going to have a different weight. So let's call this good in this video. Then we will come back in another one and keep working on chapter one. Thanks so much for your attention. This is Katoni signing out.